Hello everybody, it's the Brad Kiki here. I have a new version of my portal gun, and I don't want to say it's an update because there are a few uh, significant changes. So of course first you can see that the portal gun is 3D, and I'm using the model from the Precisely Portal texture pack or resource pack, and I'll put a link to that in the description. And I also added well, not added, I switched the entity used for the portals from Wither Skulls to Armor Stands, heeding to the call of Adrodoc55. I can also put a link to his channel in the description. And basically, the portals now use Armor Stands, so they're, they don't blink anymore, and they don't look up after s around two minutes. But the downside to this is if I... F Actually, I need to get into adventure mode. If I fire above the portal, it'll bounce the arrow back. And that's a little glitchy. With the Wither Skull, it doesn't do that. So I'm contemplating whether or not I want to switch to armor stands or stay with the Wither Skulls. Maybe you guys can post comments, tell me what you think. I also added an updated version of this little thing in the middle. Uh, so, before it was bold, of course, but I also updated the redstone logic for it, so now it doesn't blink as much. Uh, if you watched my video before, you would know that once I update it, in other words, once I shoot another portal, the middle blinks before, blinks to other different colors before it actually reaches the correct one. And now it goes directly to the correct setup as you can see. And of course, if you shoot a portal on the ground, it'll blink, of course, to show you that you shot that color, but it won't stay. Um, so, in addition to that, other stuff I added. High energy pellet launchers, and portal gun holders, and new textures for a lot of these blocks. So first we got the storage cube. Uh, the storage cube now has a 3D model. Uh, I can show you that later. Uh, so, first, let's go over high energy pellets. This is pretty cool. Basically, in Portal 1, you would have these high energy pellets that would kill you if you touch them. Uh, I can show you that if I go in Game Mode 2. Ah, I didn't catch it. So. If I touch it, I'll die instantly. And that's also another feature I added, so if you touch lava or if you touch these, you'll die instantly instead of burn. And these high energy pellets can also be used to activate signals. So as you can see, they can go through portals, and that's an activator right there, so let's just let it go. And you can see it activates an output. Now of course it's not 100% reliable, sometimes it doesn't go through the portal can't really fix that. Alright, so moving on we have the storage cubes. So the new storage cubes I enabled multiple storage cubes in the same map. So all you had to do is change the score here. This is cube 2 and you can see this one's cube 1 so to have different launchers you just change the score and you also have to change it in the kill command wherever that is right here so over here is score cube 2 and cube min 2 while over here it's cube 1 and so these are different ones so this is only it's completely independent from this one and you can still use both of them And I changed the mechanics a little bit, so they're first sitting further away from you, the cubes. And there's also f every 45 degrees instead of every 90 degrees, it turns with you. And of course, there used to be this suffocation bug when it glitches out when it suffocates, but now it just shows up red, but it doesn't actually glitch out. So I fixed that too. So, on to the portal holder. So... The portal holder is 
pretty simple. It's actually just an armor stand right here, and that's holding it. And if I go into game mode 2, I can pick up the portal, and it says portal upgrade. Um, that's because I also implemented another feature, single portals, single color portals. So you can actually have a portal gun that only has one color. Um, I can show that off a little bit later. So how do you set up one of these things? these portal holders. So all you have to do, get another brick friends and a pot. So you first place down the nether brick fence. Then you stand on top, you do T slash set block. Uh, dash dash negative one dash uh, flower pot I believe. Yes. And there you have it. There's the pot. Now what you had to do is you had to get an armor stand. And of course it can be any rotation. So let's make the rotation this way this time. Okay? So you have the armor stand sitting up there. Now you need these commands. And of course they have to be within three blocks of this armor stand or it won't work. Okay, and you activate them, and it'll disappear. But it didn't actually disappear, it's just invisible now. So now you can actually place it in the armor stand hand. And of course, you can do final adjustments. So right now this is a little bit off, so I want it to go in the positive Z. So I'm going to TP at E, type uh, armor stand. Tilde, tilde, I think it was positive Z, right? So 0.3. And there you go. Like that. Oh, and I also screwed this up. So you have to be careful. Um, when you get here, you have to make sure you have a radius here. So radius 2. So it doesn't interfere with other armor stands in the world. So I think this will fix it again. There. And there you go. You have a portal holder. And I forgot to mention that you can actually detect an output from these portal holders. All you had to do is turn this clock right here on. You had to set up something similar. Basically, it's looking for an armor stand within a radius of 5 with a portal in it. So as soon as I take out both of these, it'll have an output. Moving on to the single portal colors. So the single portal gun is right here and if I get a single portal gun it only can fire one color the color that's selected in your scoreboard um, so you can change that color but you cannot change it with Q Q doesn't do anything uh, it only can be changed through command blocks so if you're a map maker you can actually have control of that so I'm gonna reset it to blue because that's what the default is and you can see it can only shoot blue portals. I cannot shoot orange portals no matter how much I press Q. And to upgrade this portal gun to a two color portal gun, all you had to do is take the upgrade and it'll upgrade it to the two color. And that's pretty simple. And of course, if you want to get that upgrade portal gun, it's different from the single color and the double color. This is called the upgrade gun. You just get it. If you're a map maker, you can get it, and then you just place it on the holder you want. So when a player comes and takes it, their gun will be upgraded. Of course, given that they're holding a single portal gun. Alright, so uh, now that I think that's pretty much it. If I miss something, I might insert it somewhere into the video and all right let's move on to the gameplay so I made a few more levels and if you guys don't want them to be spoiled by me then you probably should stop watching the video right now uh, I'm gonna begin a speed run to for the solutions to the old levels as well as an introduction to the new levels so let's begin Pull here, pull there, and we go.
And that's a glitch sometimes. The creeper is actually there, it's just not rendering. After you log out and log back in, anything that's not rendering will render. Um, it also happens with storage cubes and uh, portal gun holders and all those stuff. Ah, this is a bit painful. There you go. There we go. And this time I was able to stream sound onto this video. So that's interesting. You can also hear there are custom sounds for this portal gun. Alright. Almost there. And of course, if I touch this lava, you'll die instantly. You won't just start burning. So there's no way of surviving, just like in the real portal, there's no way of surviving this acid. So this is a new level, uh, it utilizes the high energy pellet launcher, so let's just get through it. Oh, that was bad placement. Yeah, yeah, that's a little better. Let's see, right here. And of course, the high energy pellet bounces back and forth forever until it touches something that it can't bounce off of, which is at the moment clay and these lamps and the catchers. Right. So now there's a storage cube here where I can use to activate this final pressure plate. There we go. And that was done. Alright, this one uses deactivation of an emancipation grid. So you can see it deactivates for a certain period of time and reactivates. So, I can utilize that too. It's just a teleportation of the creepers that create the emancipation grid. Oh, it's quite annoying. Oh no, the grill just reset my portals, so I had to put some new ones. There we go. Let's not screw it up this time. There you go. And of course, if you're a map maker, you have to be sure you kill the storage cubes before you finish the map with a pressure plate, or else you're going to have a lot of storage cubes. Same thing with the energy pellets. Um, you want to be able to kill them. They're small fireballs, if you don't know what entities they are. They're small fireballs. You have to kill them before the end of every map. They're, those pressure plates kill all small fireballs and all storage cubes, so you won't have them lying around in the map. And there we have it, the end of the map. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.